Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Top 10 Places to Visit in Canada. So make sure to watch the full video. 1. The Rockies Best for mountain views and wildlife spotting. The sawtooth, white-topped mountains straddling the British Columbia-Alberta border inspire both awe and action. 5. National Parks Banff, Yoho, Kootenay, Waterton Lakes and Jasper offer countless opportunities to delve into the lush wilderness with ribbons of hiking trails, rushing white water, and powdery ski slopes. The train provides another popular way to experience the grandeur. Luminous lakes, jumbles of wildflowers, and glistening glaciers glide by as the steel cars chug up mountain passes and down river valleys en route to points east or west. 2. Vancouver, best for culture. Vancouver always lands near the top of the best places to live lists, and who's to argue? Sea to sky beauty surrounds the laid back, cocktail loving metropolis. With skyable mountains on the outskirts, beaches fringing the core and Stanley Park's thick rainforest just blocks from downtown's glass skyscrapers, it's a harmonic convergence of city and nature. It also mixes Hollywood chic. Many movies are filmed here with a freewheeling counterculture edge. There's a popular nude beach and some buzzing multicultural communities. 3. Niagara Falls, best for a classic travel experience, crowded. Cheesy? Well, yes. Niagara is short too, it doesn't even crack the top 500 worldwide for height. But come on, when those great muscular bands of water arc over the precipice like liquid glass, roaring into the void below. And when you sail toward it in a mist-shrouded little boat, Niagara Falls impresses big time. In terms of sheer volume, nowhere in North America beats its thundering cascade, with more than one million bathtubs of water plummeting over the edge every second. 4. Whistler, best place to ski in Canada. Named for the furry marmots that populate the area and whistle like deflating balloons, this gabled alpine village and 2010 Olympics venue is one of the world's largest, best equipped and most popular ski resorts. Colonizing two mountains, Whistler and Blackcomb, and lying a mere 90 minutes north of Vancouver, the village, which dates from the late 1970s, is a poster child for attractive design with nary an ugly building or piece of litter to pierce the natural beauty. Skiing may be Whistler's race in Dutrecht, but these days summer visitors with their BMX and SUP outnumber their ski season equivalents. Adding more diversity, the resort has recently developed an art scene worthy of a small European city. The caveat, Whistler is busy, 2.3 million visitors a year and expensive. For a quieter, more economical experience, be selective with your dates and don't follow the herd. 5. Montreal Jazz Festival Best Festival where else can you join more than 2 million calm, respectful music lovers and watch the best jazz-influenced musicians in the world? Choosing from 500 shows, of which countless are free. Only in Montreal, Canada's second-largest city and its cultural heart. B.B. King, Prince and Astor Piazzala are among those who've plugged in at the 11-day, late-June Montreal Jazz Festival. You might want to join them after your free drumming lesson and street-side jam session. The Good Times Roll 24-7 6. Old Quebec City Best place to visit in Canada for couples, Quebec's capital is more than 400 years old, and its ancient stone walls, glinting spired cathedrals, and jazz-filled corner cafes suffuse it with atmosphere, romance, melancholy, eccentricity, and intrigue on par with any European city. The best way to soak it all up is to walk the old town's labyrinth of lanes and get lost amid the street performers and cozy inns, stopping every so often for a cafe au late and flaky pastry. It's also home to Quebec's Honeymoon Highway, RTE 132. Circling the Gasp Peninsula, this road whisks puppy-eyed couples past the sea and the mountain with Joie de Vivre, and more than 700,000 people tear down the tarmac each summer. Of course, it has yet to approach the romantic popularity of Canada's honeymoon capital, Niagara Falls, a region that draws more than 14 million annual visitors. But head for the Ligaspeasy, instead, young lovers. Because if you're on your honeymoon, you don't need 14 million other people hanging around. 
7. Toronto, best for multicultural experiences. A hyperactive stew of cultures and neighborhoods, Toronto strikes you with sheer urban awe. Will you have dinner in Chinatown or Greektown? Five-star fusion or a penial bacon sandwich? In Ontario's cool capital, designer shoes from Bloor Yorkville are accessorized with tattoos in Queen West, while mod art galleries, theater par excellence, rock and band rooms, and hockey mania add to the megalopolis. It is far and away Canada's largest city, as well as its most diverse, about half of its residents were born in another country. 8. Vancouver Island Best for English sensibility and raw natural wonder, can a place really have it all? Yes, if it's Vancouver Island. Picture postcard Victoria is the island's heart, beating with bohemian shops, wood-floored coffee bars, and a tea-soaked English past. Rooting Pacific Rim National Park Reserve sports the West Coast Trail, where the wind-bashed ocean meets a mist-trouded wilderness and surfers line up for Tofino's waves. Then there's the Cowichan Valley, studded with welcoming little farms and boutique wineries, prime for wandering foodies. 9. Rideau Canal – Best for Ice Skating This 185-year-old, 200 km long, 124 miles, waterway, consisting of canals, rivers and lakes, connects Ottawa and Kingston via 47 locks. It's at its finest in wintry Ottawa, when it becomes the world's largest skating rink. People swoosh by on the 7.8 km, 4.8 miles, of groomed ice, pausing for hot chocolate and scrumptious slabs of fried dough called beaver tails. February's Winterlude Festival kicks it up a notch when townsfolk build massive ice sculptures. Once it thaws, the canal becomes a boater's paradise. 10. Manitoulin Island – Best place in Canada for sustainable travel The largest freshwater island in the world, floating right in Lake Huron's midst, Manitoulin is a slowpoke place of beaches and summery cottages. Jagged expanses of white quartzite and granite outcroppings edge the shoreline and lead to shimmering vistas. First Nations culture pervades, and the island's eight communities collaborate to offer local foods, wild rice, corn soup, and eco-adventures, canoeing, horseback riding, hiking. Powwows add drumming, dancing, and storytelling to the mix. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.